hello, hello, hello. It's me, Enigmatic Rose, and today we're going to talk Dev Diaries for Crusader Kings 3. Probably the most disappointing Dev Diary I've ever seen from Paradox. And, I mean, personally, I like this Dev Diary. Is it what I was expecting? No. Does it still give us lots of cool information? Yes. And are there a lot of whiny people on the forums complaining? Oh, yes, yes, there are. I love the people that say this Dev Diary was overhyped. When Paradox has barely mentioned this Dev Diary, it was only that comment under another post on Twitter that said they were coming back mid-February. That I found. If you found something else, please leave it in a comment down below. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe and ring that bell. And you will find more Crusader Kings 3 Dev Diary content and you know, more gaming content. It's a cool place. Stay a while. Listen. Something. Throw a Diablo reference in there. Why not? <laughs> okay, but back to this dev diary. It's a fairly simple dev diary. It goes over the team, which we have 46, 47 people still working in Crusader Kings 3. They've actually hired more programmers and content designers. Um, and we have gotten a new game director. So Alexander Oltner, Ray Gehr is now the new game director, and he previously he worked on CK3, he worked on CK2, and he was in charge of Holy Furry. So does that mean Animal Kingdom's confirmed? I hope so. <laughs> I want to play as a kitty cat and conquer the world. Okay. Um, but he is now the new game director, and the previous game director, Heinrich Farus, also known as Doomdark, he is ascending to the next level and becoming the creative de director for CK3 and many other titles. So those are the important things. And then the most important thing is down here at the bottom. It says the team is currently busy working on two things. One is big, one is small, uh, or smaller. The smaller of these you'll be hearing more of in the coming weeks. So that means we're going to get more information. And you may be like, wait, Rose, there's like the Paradox Insider on March 13th. And they're promoting that, so is that when we're going to hear about more CK3 news? No. Because Nikau, who is the community ambassador for Crusader Kings 3, had a comment here, someone asking that about Paradox Insider. You didn't know about that, March 13th. I have no idea what they're going to talk about, but I'm excited to find out. Uh, here, there will be other dev diaries before that, more teasers and details about future CK3 content. So fingers crossed we get a dev diary next week. And again, if you want to hear my take on that dev diary, hit that little subscribe button and ring that bell. There'll be another video next time. In terms of hints about what the DLC will be, we do have Nakao up here talking about how Scarecrow Crone, one of the newer content designers, mentioned that this dev diary is Firestarter. What does that make you think of? Because I've got a couple ideas, and from scrolling through people's comments on the forum, Several other people have that same idea. It's the idea I mentioned in my DLC video last week. Um, Greek fire, maybe? Fingers crossed? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But it could be something else. We could be doing like an Inquisition heretic style, which someone else did suggest. So, do I mind the three-month wait? No, I really don't. There have been waits that long for Stellaris or Hoi 4 or EU4 at different points. And God knows, the Vicky 2 people are still waiting for a notification about Vicky 3. So, hashtag feel sorry for Vicky 3 people. <laughs> if it ever stopped being a myth. But yeah, this dev diary, it didn't contain a lot. It teased a little bit and it let us know that Paradox is hiring people and putting a lot of people and that means money behind Crusader Kings 3, which means we're going to keep getting new content, which makes me happy. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Rose. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help support the channel, check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description box down below. Bye, folks.